We've reached the semi-finals of the 132nd Indian Oil Duran Cup. It's familiar territory for Imami East Bengal, who are looking for a 27th final appearance. New ground though for North East, who are at this stage for the first time. A good game, hopefully for him as well. The refereeing standard has been pretty good throughout this tournament so far. Referees have managed to keep their cards in their pocket, except when they've had to, of course. Here are our dignitaries for this evening to be introduced to the teams, Colonel Banaba Chakrabarti, the commanding officer of the 15th Battalion, the Bihar Regiment, Sri Sujit Bose, who's the minister in charge of fire and emergency services, who will lead the line in place of Ibsen Damelo, who drops down to the bench tonight. 4-2-3-1. Rejuvenate his career in red and gold this season. There's a real area of expectation, and these are the side, and these are the players that the responsibility falls to tonight for Carlos Quadrat. Did all in white, and will kick from right to left in the first half. We'll just uh, wait for a sec to uh, discuss that. Falguni comes forward. Here's Manvir. Bouncing awkwardly again on the edge of the penalty area. Good pressure from Falguni. Really giving Sol Crespo a hard time, and then barges into the back of him. Sol Crespo didn't like the challenge. And, uh, assistant referee forced to step in. Aditya Pekasta just trying to defuse this by getting the two captains involved as well, Harman Jok Kabra and Roman Philippa II. Roman Philippa II, he's got the yellow card for obviously something he said. Falguni. Lovely ball played in, and the header guided into the corner. It's a brilliant goal, but it's all about the delivery for North East United. Rapshik and Gill, well beaten, but what about this for a delivery from Falguni? Oh, it's great, isn't it? Second phase from the corner, lovely little play just inside by Falguni. He's got great feet, lovely little whip on the ball, and just Pardo just able just to guide the ball into that far, far corner. Absolutely no chance for the goalkeeper for Gill. Just all about the quality of the delivery, and it just asks to be headed and redirected just to that far post. Gomba's ball in, Jordan Elsie's header away, comes off Bihama, who know too much about that. And foul by Zabako, who's going to get a yellow card to add to his goal earlier on, so the third yellow card of this first half, it's Javier Severio, the man that's been fouled, and they're just taking a whack to the side of the face, and Zabako into the book. Well, Javier Severio will take the corner, we'd perhaps have expected him to be on the end of them, but it is taken short to Mahesh. to Pardo, shot was blocked, a lot of players staying forward here. Good save again by Mirshad. The way by Zabako just managed to recover in time and get that one away now. Manvir on the chase, waiting for some support. Manvir, the man starting at the moment. Ditya Pekasta gets us underway for the second half. It's North East United all in white. In the first half with that ball in. There's Ton Dombas, ball forward again. Falguni's onside and in behind here. Might be tempted to go on his own here. Falguni! Oh, wonderful finish! And the youngster continues to impress. The new man in that lineup behind the front two has put North East United into a 2 0 lead. Work to do for him, Army East Bengal. North East United, Ibsen just staying up high. A chance, takes a deflection and goes in off Dinesh. I think that was going on target. It may well go down as an own goal. Mahesh with a shot. And there is a lifeline for the Red and Gold Brigade. It has been coming, that pressure eventually was always likely to tell. Straight up. Perhaps you can kill. Zabako, free kick's been given, and Zabako could be in trouble here, he was booked in the first half and he's going to go, Zabako will be sent off for North East United, so they're going to play the final couple of minutes of added time with only 10, and it was always a danger, now it's a reality, Zabako has had a back across, good save by Mirshad, managed to just push that other way from Clayton Silva, in the back in again, and he's been called of equalised. Nanda Kumar with the header. And North East 
can't believe it. Six, seven minutes into adding time. Nanda Kumar, who hasn't had the best of games, with a glancing header, and the resistance is broken, and Imami East Bengal's dream of another Duran Cup. But still, we don't know which of these teams is going through to the final. It's going to a shootout. It's 2-2. Clayton Silver not happy with something. The right-hand end, it would appear, for penalties. With the opening penalty for Imami East Bengal, Mirshad stands in his way. A little stutter in the run-up! Got a hand to it, Mirshad, but there was too much pace on the ball. Can he keep it all square? In comes Ibsen, he too stutters. And into the net to make it 1-1. Warm, warm. So, first penalty dispatched. Still Pressburg. Well, calmly done. He was almost at walking pace, sends the goalkeeper the wrong way. It's going to take the second one for North East United. He too stutters in the run up. Little shimmy as well and sends Gill the wrong way. Good penalty as well, 2 2. Up next, Borja. Another well struck penalty. Goalkeeper guessed right. Again, they're going to the goalkeeper's left, all these penalties. Borja scores to make it 3 2 now, too. Oh, hits the bar this time! You feel for Partib. Mahesh against Mirshad. Sends him the wrong way. The North East have to score. Whose brother it was that missed a moment or so ago, the substitute to keep this alive for North East United. Brilliantly done into the top corner. Hope he's had all their nerve. It's the man who scored that equalising goal, Nanda Kumar, with the penalty to put in Army East Bank goal into the final. Mirshad gets right, but again it was too good. And for the 27th time in the history of this competition, the Army East Bank goal are into the final. A penalty shootout victory over North East United. It looked as though for long periods as they would go out, but that late goal from Nanda Kumar. And then his winning penalty has put them into the final. The venue for both semi-finals and the final, 2-2 after normal time. Imami East Bengal win it 5-3 on penalties in a dramatic first semi-final.